It's winter in Paris, and that means it's time for the epic Christmas market. I mean, look, there's even a Ferris wheel. This has to be one of the coolest holiday markets ever. All right, this is gonna be a good time because today I'm showing you around the Paris Christmas Market. This is the huge one. So there are some smaller markets around Paris. This one is the gar uh, <laughs> This one is by the Jardin Tuileries. So by the Tuileries Garden, not too far from the Louvre. So this place is huge. There are things to eat, things to buy, and fun things to do. But first, let's look at some of the food. And it's France. So in addition to the meat and cheese, of course, Snails make it onto the menu. And here's a winter special, vin chaud, which means hot wine. So before being in Paris, I had never even heard of hot, hot wine, but apparently it's like a big holiday thing here. People drink hot red wine, uh, typically, and sometimes they mix other things with it. So sometimes it's just um, a red wine, and then other times they'll mix cherries, different herbs. So it's really interesting. Last time I was here, I did get the hot wine, but I was really thirsty at the time. And here's a tip. Do not get the hot wine if you are thirsty, because you'll chug it like I did. And it was delicious, but I chugged hot wine. <laughs> Today, I'm just going with an apple cider and different places make it differently so this place it's kind of just like a hot apple juice there's also a place um by me where they put all sorts of spices and herbs in it this place is a little bit more just like hot apple juice but still really nice and uh comforting on a cold day another tip if you come here skip the hot orange juice trust me on this one so being in Paris and being a vegan, people always ask me, oh, is there food to eat or it must be terrible? There are actually a few places here that have vegan things to eat. Shocking, I know, because it's France, and I'm also surrounded by meat, cheese, and even snails. But <laughs> even with the meat, cheese, and snails, there's some vegetarian food too. There's a place that offers, uh, oops, I'm trying not to <laughs> run into people. There's a place that offers like a potato dish. There's a bunch of vegan soups. So there are options here if you ask and if you come here. It's not just cheese and meat, but that's here too. And here in Paris, it is called a Christmas market. I feel like in the US, maybe it would be considered like a holiday market to be maybe a little bit more inclusive of other religions. Um, of course, everyone is welcome here. There are tons of people here, um, but it is called a Christmas market. So do with that information what you will. Oh my gosh, I love it. The fake snow is coming down right now. <laughs> and check out the rides and things to do. There's ice skating, bumper cars, and like a Christmas version of a haunted house. And this. There's like a huge slide that I really want to go down, except I saw someone going down it, an adult, and no, the acceleration was uh, far too great. <laughs> so I think I'm out, but it looks so much fun. And in between rides, there are lots of snacks, too. Okay, so this market and some of the other Christmas markets I've seen around Paris, they all sell churros. <laughs> and I think it's so weird, interesting, because I never really associated churros with Christmas. And certainly, how did it get to Paris? I don't know, but churros are here at the Christmas market. And there is a real range of rides. When I first got here, I thought all the rides would just be kind of like kiddie rides. But no, some of these are legit scary. Oh my God, would you get on this thing? No way. Um, okay, you could not pay me to get on that ride. It looks so scary. <laughs> People are, they're going like upside down and it's crazy, it's fast. I'm not about it. I mean, of course, if you are looking for things to buy, there are tons of gifts here. Watches, little souvenirs, and things like this. There's a lot of stuff, but there's also so many fun games and fun things to do. And things to eat, of course. It's Paris. There's jewelry, chocolates, and of course, we're in Paris. So that means there's foie gras, too. And for vegans, well, you have to go to the local organic supermarket, and then you can get the faux foie gras. Yeah, it exists. 
I think he just said Merry Christmas in French, but I don't know. It had Noel on the end. Something, something Noel. And he had a smile. I think that's what he said. Anyway, I have never seen such a cool French market before. I've never seen such a cool Christmas market, a holiday market. Just so many rides, so much fun. And this is only here for a few months. And by the way, it's open late. I think it opens around lunchtime before lunch, like close to noon, 11 a.m. But it's open until like midnight most nights. So it's a lot of fun. And of course, no Christmas market could be complete without chestnuts roasting on an open fire. All right, so that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Paris market. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. There's a lot more coming up.